kicked in. All right, so we are here today with uh, Megan Sutton and she is uh, running for school board, uh, MISD school board. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started and ask some questions and learn a little bit about her. So I'm gonna start by asking you, uh, where were you uh, raised and um, how many siblings do you have? Sure. Well, I'm excited to be here today. Um, I was raised in Midland, Texas, and I um, spent my whole life in West Texas up until four years ago, moving to the DFW area. So West Texas is kind of all I've known until being here. Okay. Um, I was actually raised an only child. So don't hold that against me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, growing up, did you know what you wanted to do? Um, I did. I thought I did anyway. Um, by the time I was 18, I knew I wanted to go to college and I thought I wanted to be a mechanical engineer actually. Oh, wow. And so I went off to a and right away um, from Midland. That was a really far um, travel to be away from my parents for the first time, but it was really fun. Um, but it didn't take me long to realize that I actually wanted to be in the medical field. Mm -hmm. And so I changed my major to pre-med and thought I wanted to be an anesthesiologist um, or a surgeon. I just didn't really know. I just wanted to go into pre-med. And then when I actually found out about the therapy world, it within one week, I switched my major and decided that that was for me. So I kind of just didn't really know that that field existed. So once I learned about it, um, I decided I wanted to be a physical therapist because by that time I realized I really just felt passionate about people in the medical field. And I thought that that would be the perfect fit for me. So I actually transferred to Texas Tech and got accepted to their physical therapy program there. And I um, graduated in 2010 with my doctorate in physical therapy. Okay, excellent. So yeah. how would you describe yourself? I am super positive and really optimistic. Um, I can pretty much see the positive side all the time. So um, I just am not a negative person at all. I don't get mad and stay mad. I'm more of a person to like look for solutions and try to fix the problem. So a lot of times I haven't really fit in because I don't gossip. I don't complain. And a lot of times um, in different work settings that I've been in, that's kind of been the culture. And so sometimes I've been an outcast because of my positivity. <laughs> Um, but other than that, just really driven and very ambitious um, and very, very tenderhearted. Okay. Would you consider yourself an extrovert or an introvert? Um, definitely an extrovert. I really get a lot of energy from people and always have to have like time with friends, time with girlfriends. Um, being around people. I do like my alone time for sure, but um, I I would say probably more of an extrovert. Okay. Um, any specific hobbies that you have? Yeah, sure. So I have four kids and they are, they age and range from two to eight years old. And so- Oh my. my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my hobbies are really kind of around them um, yeah. right now. I don't really, I can't really have a lot of my own personal hobbies, I guess. But so I love going to the park. I love spending time with them and playing and being outside. And, um, but in terms of me personally, I love to, um, fitness is like a huge hobby of mine. Um, I really am committed to that personally. Um, just being outdoors, traveling would be a huge huge one. I've gotten to travel to um, some countries like India and Nepal. And uh, I recently got to see Hawaii for the first time. And I've gotten to travel a lot. And it's really given me a hunger to see the rest of the world. Um, so yeah, those are probably some hobbies of mine. 
So on the fitness side of it, is there uh, a specific uh, activity that you enjoy? Well, I guess just personally, just being, well, so just for me, like in the last year, you know, I just have had four kids. And so just trying to lose the baby weight and get back strong, get back in shape. Um, fitness has always been a big part of my life. So just getting back to that. So I think just, I mean, I do all my workouts at home because okay. of my four kids. So I don't really do a program or anything. I just like to stay really committed to that. Okay. And uh, your travel to India, what was the, the one thing that stood out to you from that? Yeah. Um, well, that was actually the first time I ever got to experience a country like that. And I came back completely changed. I went there on a mission effort um, to work with like kids that are in sex trafficking. And I just went to help an organization that helps rescue children and women out of that and basically just help restore them. It's just a huge effort. And I think just the one thing I took away was that, hey, there's other ways to do life. There's mm -hmm. other cultures out there. There's other religions out there. There's other ways um, that people eat and live and treat their families. And it was just a really eye-opening experience that I remember in my life thinking, you know, maybe I don't have it all figured out. Maybe I'm not right about everything. There's a whole big world out there with other ideas that might work just as well. Hmm. That's, that's interesting that that's what the impression uh, that you got from that. Um, yeah. If um, let's say, um, um, well, let me ask you this. Um, who has probably made um, the biggest impact um, in your life? Well, there's a lot. Um, obviously, like my parents come to mind. Um, but one person that really comes to mind when you just mentioned that was a, a volleyball coach that I had when I was in school named uh, Coach Sandoval. And I would probably say her because she had a way of really like pulling the best out of me uh, personally and just all of the athletes that she worked with. But there was a way that she coached us and a way that she trained us that really, well, it pulled the more than what you even thought you had out of you during training and practices. I remember at the end of each um, volleyball practice, she would give us what she called a character builder. And that was like the last hard thing at the very end of our workout when we didn't think we had anything left to give. Um, she would give us like one more minute on the clock with like the hardest exercise you can imagine. And she called it a character builder. And she just said, you know, this is when you're building character, when you're having to give more than you thought you even had to give. And um, as crazy as it sounds, that really translated for me to more than just the workout part of it, but it was, you know, into life as well. And I've really like pulled from that going into job interviews, going into, you know, college exams, just sitting, sitting for my PT boards. Um, so yeah, she really made a huge impact on me. Hmm. It's interesting every time I ask that question, because I think sometimes we forget um, just going through your daily life, how you can impact others you know, yeah. positively or negatively, but, but we all have an impact in some way. So true. Yeah. I tell my kids that actually, I say, you know, your words have the power of life and death and what you say can either bring life to somebody and, mm -hmm. or they can also really like bring death to their heart, to their mind, just to how they're feeling. And so just really be careful with what you say and how you treat people because it has so much power. Yeah, absolutely. So let me ask you, why are you running for school board? I'm really excited to be doing this. Um, there's a lot of candidates for place yes. four. Yes, there um, are. <laughs> but I think that that's great. I am personally really encouraged by that because it shows how much of the community mm -hmm. wants to be involved. I think it's great. And regardless of the outcome of the election, um, I think so many positive things come from just the campaign period. Um, 
Yeah. So, but for me personally, the reason I wanted to run is because I moved to Mansfield four years ago. Um, I am very invested in the school district. I've got four kids that are going to be graduating high school here. Um, this is a place that I'm calling home for my, you know, for my adult life, my, the majority of my adult life. And so I want to be involved for that reason. I wanted to be involved at, you know, the, the city or the school board level for the last several years. Um, and so every year when they announce like an opening, I always think to myself, I want to do that. Um, but I haven't really ever been where I am now, which is where I feel balanced enough at home where I can now, you know, give effort outside of that and really start giving back um, outside of that a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I want to, I want to have a voice and I want to have a say in the school district that my kids are going to be in for the next, well, like 14, 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I, Mansfield ISD has been really good to me. Um, I have been blown away by the teachers, the processes. Um, I have three, my two-year-old's not yet in school, but I have three actually enrolled in person. And I have really, really loved every part of it. Um, my son really struggled with reading, my oldest son, and it was very, very frustrating for him and very, very sad for me as a mom because you don't want to see your kids struggle. Um, we thought he even had dyslexia, um, but he didn't. He just was really behind. Well, not only did his school catch him up, he is now ahead um, like a whole grade level. And not only that, but he loves reading. You know, you would think that when a kid struggles like that with something, they would shy away from it and they wouldn't want anything to do with it. But that isn't the case for him. He actually reads every night before bed. And I attribute that to the school, to the reading specialist. Um, and I've just really been blown away by that. And so I just want to be a part and make sure Mansfield ISD stays excellent and stays great. Um, I do see a few small areas um, for improvement, um, but I would say 95% of the way I'm very satisfied with the district. That's great. Do you have, last question for you, do you have a creed that you live by? Absolutely. Um, I would probably say it's the golden rule, you know, um, as simple as that is, I just don't think it can get much better than that. Treat others as you would want to be treated. Um, I think to do that, you have to be able to put yourself in their shoes. You have to be able to consider their side of things. And that's one thing that I am is open-minded. I can really see all sides and it's frustrating sometimes because, <laughs> um, it's almost a curse at times because yeah. I can really see all sides. Um, but I, I also see it as a strength because I can really look at someone and think, you know, I can, I can see how that might feel that way. And here's how I would want someone to act if I was feeling that way. And so I tried to teach my kids that and try to live that way. Very good. Well, it was nice visiting with you and yes. um, look forward to seeing you at the uh, candidate forums and at our luncheon. And uh, yes. so we'll have We'll have lots of time to uh, to get to know you. And I appreciate you taking the time out to do this with us. I really do. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Lori. You are so welcome. We'll see you soon. Okay. Have a good okay. day. All right. Bye-bye.